All right, after major retail chains offered some great sales yesterday, Today, you're encouraged to spend your money at locally owned stores and restaurants. Joining me right now is Matthew Pollard, a business and marketing consultant. Tell me a little bit about uh, what today is for um, people who are going to go shopping and what the focus is. Yeah, sure. I, th I think everybody needs to be looking at what they can do in buying in small businesses. Because when you think about small businesses, 45 cents in every dollar that's spent stays in the Austin economy. When you're talking about more the, the chain stores, that's about 13 cents in every dollar. Wow. And when you look at getting something on Amazon, you're getting virtually nothing to stay in the Austin economy, probably not even the American economy. Mm -hmm. So what we really need to be understanding is that 45 cents in every dollar that pays for the people that are in Austin that will then buy haircuts, which supports their hairdressing economy, that go out to restaurants, which supports the restaurant economy. They even pay for their kids to go to school, and that supports all the teachers and the education here in Austin. So we need to think past the $5 we might save by buying something that's not local and think that all of this money continually circulates. And as soon as we start spending on chain stores or out to online businesses, that money leaves the economy. And unless we do something fantastic, it doesn't come back. And 45 cents to 13 cents, that, that, I'd never heard that statistic, statistic before. That's a huge comparison. It's massively different. And we think, so a lot of these chain stores are still American stores. Mm -hmm. So what we don't realize, though, is that their head offices can be based in other states. And a lot of times, they have a lot of employees that are, you know, offshore. So as a result, we just have to think this through. And this, the, yeah, the scariest one is when we start to spend money online and not realizing where our dollars are going. And you kind of touched upon it a little bit before. Uh, if people go shopping today and they want to spend some money at locally owned uh, stores, the smaller stores, mom and pop, sh mom and pop shops, restaurants, how will, the, how will that small change help? I mean, you touched upon it before with, yeah, definitely. with people going to get haircuts and it's a domino effect. Yeah, look, it, it really is. And I, uh, there was a statistic on uh, I Buy Austin's website, and they talk about the fact that a 10% change in consumer spending can result in about $250 million over the year and nearly 3,000 jobs. But small business as a whole, it's much more than that. It's the fact that small businesses are videographers, they're um, ghostwriters, they're business coaches. Mm -hmm. We don't just need to, when we're talking the whole year, we don't need to just focus our spending on retail. When we're looking, if we're in charge of our business spending or we're in charge of our corporate spending, we need to look at how we can utilize Austin small businesses as a whole and start to spend our money in Austin. And f final, final question before we go, how can small businesses do that? How can they reach that audience? Definitely. So I think a lot of trouble with small business is they find it hard to differentiate themselves from anyone else. So they really need to come back to what's core about them. A lot of small businesses try to get themselves stuck in a category because that's going to help people understand what they are. But now they're a commodity and now they've got to negotiate just on price. And there's always someone online that'll do it for cheaper. Sure. So what they need to do is they really need to come back to basics and say, this is innately who I am and my life experience is different to everyone else. So there's always going to be something that differentiates them and they need to capitalize on that. They need to share that message out to the world and even though it could be scary because you're actually saying these aren't my customers, this is my customer, that customer will appreciate it, they'll pay more and they'll rally to their cause and that's what we really need to focus on. Excellent. That added personal touch always helps. Exactly right. Thank you so much for joining us this well, morning. Welcome. I appreciate it. It's great to see you. You as well. All right.